Hello, and welcome to another horrific unboxing. Ah, uh, just got this in the mail, so remove labels so I don't dox myself. Um, hopefully, this is the right thing. This is going to be a very short video, but it should be. I don't think I've got it a day early. Yeah. Broken by the packaging. Uh -huh, and here we go. The Iron Maiden 40th anniversary cassette tape. This is about to actually come out tomorrow, so I've got it there. Like, so happy Paddy's Day to me. Um, don't know if you remember, probably not show me age again, but when this album came out, oh, everyone lost their minds. I mean, anyone that listened to the Iron Maiden was a devil worshipper and uh, kidnapping kids and doing weird stuff and people just lost their minds um, god this brings back memories honestly tapes were my thing before obviously cds and i had absolutely tons of them but hold on i think we need to take it out but once again our box made them flip People don't remember side ones and side twos. Oh, there's something about having cassettes and stuff again, physical media. Honestly, digital stuff's great. Like obviously, I have this, had this in CD, had it in digital. You name it, still have it. <clears throat> but there's something about getting. Oh, it's really basic. This device I don't want it. So there we have We Human, In Consequence at the Bottom, Devil's Play to Make a Puppet String, and then of course you have the band's mascot, Eddie, playing the devil, showing he's like the ultimate badass sort of thing. All the tracks. Now apparently this was remastered in 2015, so also, Invaders, Children of the Damned, The Prisoner, 22 Acacia Avenue. Of course, the number of the base, the the track, it just had everyone lose their minds. Brilliant. <clears throat> I think even to this day, people are still like, <clears throat> Gotta love Normies. Um, Run the Hills. Like, these are, number of the base, Run the Hill, absolute classics. Gangland, not played so much. And of course, Hallow Be Thy Name. Um, if you ever check these tracks out live, oh my word. Um, no, I should have thought it right out. Not the same, doesn't have the same effects as an album, but still, it's like, it was like a mini, um... Mini version of the album, obviously the album looks bad out more. Um, no lyrics, which is a shame. Um, obviously that was the thing about cassettes, you opened them up, and you had all the lyrics, and then you'd sit and religiously, um, go through the songs and lyrics, um, not so much, but... Of course, woe to you, O earth and sea. For the devil sends the beast with wrath, because he knows the time is short. Let him who hath understanding reckon the number of the beast, for it is a human number. Its number is 666. Well, any time that's the game comes out over the speakers and you're like, ah, da, da. Oh, and it's using the... So I was wondering if it had been remastered with the views the current lineup, but they haven't obviously Bruce Dickinson vocals, Dave Murray, Adrian Smith, Steve Harrison, and Clive Burr, um obviously rest in peace young man, he uh, he passed away a few years ago, um to get some form of leukemia or cancer, it wasn't wasn't nice anyway, but um I remember he left the band, there wasn't like animosity or anything, um it wasn't the same with Paul Diano. Paul Diano was a bit of I don't know whether he's just trying to be punk or what, but there was a wee bit of bad blood but I don't think it was the same with Clive and obviously Nico took over for uh, Peace of Mind album things have went uh, south since since uh, I was busy just going through all the credits who's who and what's what you would think there would be in 40th anniversary you'd think there would be a wee bit more 
from a wee bit this I thought it'd be a wee bit a bit more reedy stuff, to be honest, and to say that it was the fortieth anniversary. No I mean it's it's nice to get it, but at the same time, um when you're collecting stuff you'd like it to say fortieth anniversary and some sort of acknowledgement of that, but there you go. Um I do have a cassette player. I might give it a blast later on, obviously can't do it in this all sorts of alarm bells that go off for stealing music and that but um, it's something I'm not going to play too much obviously because if you remember these things they're notorious um, they're great that in one an instance it would last forever and then I just took the one wrong thing and then the spill and the tape would just uh, chew up and do all sorts but nice one for the collection um, I'll stick a link if you want to check it out nice little uh, keepsake anyway so until next time Keep it creepy, keep it horrific.